Now you know how much I love cheap RC cars here on my channel and today is going to be an epic day because here in front of me I have two brand new cheap RC cars. So initial impressions then and straight away it does look like both of these vehicles share a lot of components with the MJX Hyper Go range. Now you may be wondering, are these actually MJX vehicles then? Now on the boxes, we have actually got a different brand name. We've got MEW4, but I still believe that is an MJX brand. Now I have been doing my research and these things actually turn out to be quite a bit cheaper than the MJX Hypergo brushless. Now I think what's happened here is MJX have started another brand, a slightly more cheaper brand. They're sharing all the same components with a much smaller price tag. Well we're going to find out very soon but first let's take a look at what you get in the box. So both of these cars share exactly the same box contents apart from one minor change and I'll show you that towards the end. But first up we have got our accessory bag. And in here we have got a cross wrench, a screwdriver and a USB charger. And again, this thing looks like your typical MJX charger. Now Banggood have sent me the two battery version and here we have a 1500 milliamp hour hard case lithium iron. And this is definitely a lithium iron battery in a hard case. It is not a LiPo. And no doubt someone will try and correct me on this one, but you can quite clearly see on the box it does say lithium iron. We have got a black and white manual with exploded diagrams and all parts listed at the back. Now with the buggy version you do get an extra set of wheels and tyres and again these things look identical to the set that you get on the MJX Hypergo brushless buggy and these are actually really nice tyres. And if we compare these tyres to the included ones, they do look a little bit bigger and they do have a slightly larger diameter. And running the smaller wheels and tyres may actually make the buggy a little bit slower, but we'll find out on the speed test later. Finally, the transmitter and take a look at this. Does this look familiar? Well, yet again, it's exactly the same as the MJX Hypergo brushless transmitter. Now, these things are actually quite nice. We've got a nice foam grip on the wheel there. You've got your steering trim adjustment, your function button, uh, which switches the LED lights on and off and we've also got a speed adjustment switch now I do like having the speed adjustment switch on there you can select 70% or 100% and that can come in quite handy especially if you're just starting out so let's take a closer look at the buggy first now straight away I have to say I do like the color scheme on this I think it looks really cool I am getting Rolalo AMX 12 vibes from this maybe a little bit of WL toys 124008 as well but overall I think it looks quite cool we've got a metal front bumper flexible rear wing which you will have to fit yourself using the included screwdriver moving on to the monster truck then now this thing looks really familiar any guesses what they've tried to copy with this one well i think it looks like the hpi savage so there's not a huge amount going on outside this one but we have got a plastic front bumper with an led light bar and i have seen this before on the mjx hyper go stuff and those led lights i can tell you are really bright and you can switch them on and off from the transmitter so let's get both the bodies off and let's take a closer look underneath. So electronics wise, both of these trucks share exactly the same components. So we have got a 2835 brushless motor with a black heatsink, a 35 amp two in one ESC and receiver. And down there we have a mini three wire servo. So on the monster truck version, we have got an extra lead there leading all the way to the front. And that is for the LED light bar. Now this is a little bit different compared to the MJX Hyper Go brushless because usually we have a separate ESC and receiver. Now that's not really a bad thing because we see two-in-one ESC and receivers quite often on these cheap RC cars. So moving on to the chassis features then, now both of these cars have oil-filled adjustable shocks and they feel really smooth, really nice. We've got metal CVDs front and rear and just look at those, those things are really, really chunky. So both of these cars have metal diffs and ball bearings throughout. We've also got a metal center drive shaft, adjustable turnbuckles, a plastic chassis on both vehicles. But with the buggy version, just remember you do get slightly more metal. Now the battery tray on both of these is really nice and they have made another change. Now these are using a Velcro strap instead of the system that they use on the Hypergo brushless. It's sort of like a plastic bar that comes over, then you secure it using a little clip. They've got rid of that and they've actually gone for the Velcro. Now I actually prefer using Velcro straps and it may have actually been cheaper for them. So wheels and tyres then, now again these things are pretty much identical to the Hypergo brushless wheels and tyres. They're a nice soft and grippy compound 
and they should do well off-road. Now the buggy tyres do feel slightly more firm and obviously they are a bit smaller as well and that may affect the speed in the speed run. Now I could fit the upgraded tyres that they include in the box but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep this fair. I want to see how fast both of these cars will go straight out the box. So we're going to do the speed testing with the included wheels and tyres. So that's pretty much it. If you want to see the full spec I will leave a link down below so you can head over to Banggood, check out the full spec on their website just in case I've missed anything. Right so first up let's see how fast the buggy version is. Now it does feel nippy. I think we're going to see over 30 on this one. It's full throttle. Nice and stable just like the other MJX cars I've tested here on the channel. Nice, very nice, nice and stable. Right, let's bring it back, let's see what we got. <laughs> I think we're going to see a decent speed out of this. Right, so let's see what we got. We only got 22, but it did feel quicker. Right, so moving on, let's see how fast the monster truck version is. Now, if we achieve 22 with the buggy, I'm pretty sure we're gonna achieve very similar speeds with the monster truck as well. It actually feels quicker than 22, but the GPS doesn't lie. Right, we'll bring it back. We'll see what we got. Are we going to see 22? Or are we going to see slightly more? We've got 24 with this one. So now that we've got the speed test out of the way, we need to see how both of these cars are going to perform off-road. And we're going to start with the buggy. So there we go then guys, that was the MJX slash MEW4, M162 and M163. So two great little additions to the MJX lineup and best of all, they're super cheap. Now they both performed really well, but I actually preferred the monster truck today. And that is because I do prefer the styling on this one, the higher ground clearance and the grippier tires. Now yes, you can fit the other tires that you get in the box and that will probably improve handling. But I don't think it really matters which one you go for because they do perform 
perform really well and it's just another great budget option. But are these cars better than the very popular high boxing HBX 16889? Now we're only going to compare the HBX 16889 to the monster truck because it is very similar. Now both of these trucks cost pretty much exactly the same. Now I do prefer the quality of plastics on the HBX. I also find it slightly more nimble but that said this new little monster truck is a little bit heavier and it does handle a little bit better. Now as long as you can buy parts for these I know these things are going to do great because with the high boxing stuff you can pretty much get the parts anywhere and that's probably one of the biggest selling points when it comes to the high boxing models and you have to remember if this is your first RC car as a beginner you're probably going to break it and for this reason you will want easy access to parts so just bear this in mind when you're looking for your next cheap RC car so we're going to leave the video there today I really hope you enjoyed seeing two brand new additions to the MJX lineup are these things better than high boxing and WL toys drop a comment down below and let me know cheers for watching see you on the next one take care now if you enjoyed today's video then don't go anywhere click the top video to check out the 3s ready brushless hypergo buggy or click the bottom video to check out the hypergo truggy